Good morning, y'all. This is Rodney and I'm back. Um, I said good morning because it's actually 4 a.m. and I'm up trying to get this video out. Like, I don't know what's going on, y'all. Um, I made it home this morning from work around 6 a.m. Um, did the video, uploaded the video. Y'all know I still ain't got internet. I had to use Xfinity Wi-Fi. You know, you pay like $19.95 a week or like $50 a month. Girl, I have not had the internet service since October the 20th. When the AT&T technician came by last week, he was like, I'm so sorry. I see that you haven't had service since October the 20th. <laughs> Y'all. Anyway, I don't even want to talk about AT&T. I'm going to let y'all know that the AT&T story in another video. But basically, I hope this video is uploaded. Um, I try, I went back and I tried to watch the video that I um, talked, the video I uploaded yesterday about Erica Campbell and what's that bitch name? Larsa Pippen. Um, and I couldn't see the video through the YouTube app, but I could see the video on my laptop and I could see it in the YouTube like studio app thing that like you, I think that only YouTubers use if you have a YouTube page, I guess. Um, I saw it in that, but I couldn't see it in the YouTube, um, the YouTube app. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I tried to upload the video this morning. It was, I was having the same problems. It wouldn't play. And I was like, I'm not going to like upload another video that's not playing in the YouTube app. I don't know. And then like, I went back to see about the post that I that that I um, uploaded last night on the community tab, and it said that it had been removed. So of course I start freaking out, like, oh my god, they're removing shit from my page. Like, what is going on? My video's not playing. <sighs> girl, you know I prayed to God. Girl, I ain't prayed to God in so long, girl. Girl, I prayed to God. I prayed to Buddha. I prayed to the people in the sea. Baby, I pray to the stars, the moon. Baby, I pray to everybody. Girl, I pray, girl, I pray to what's his name? Jack from Titanic. Girl, please. Please, God. I know I'm a little messy. Ooh, girl. I know I'm a little messy. But it's people on YouTube that's way messier than me. And they be lying. Like, at least I be coming on here like just I just be like Kiki with the girls. That's it. I just be kicking with my cousins. I be kicking with my good Judy's. And that's all I do. Like, so please do not take my YouTube page away. <laughs> please. Who ought to call this man a girl five times? Um, anyway, so let's get into this review. Um, all right. So hopefully this is going right, y'all. Let's, let's cross our fingers, girl. Because if I upload this video and it don't play, I'm just, I'm tapping out. <laughs> I'm tapping out. We're going to have to try again in a couple of months because I'm done. Uh, anyway, so, all right. The episode starts off. Karen is still in Giselle's ass. Um, the truth of the matter is Karen isn't too far off when she says that Jamal lives in Giselle's phone. Did you hear what Giselle said? He calls me like eight, he calls me like every eight seconds. If this, I know that's an exaggeration. I think she was trying to show that I guess her relationship with Jamal is legitimate because he calls her eight every seconds. But it, it, the reality for me is, girl, you further, furthermore proved Karen's point about him living in your phone. Because if he calling you eight every, if he calling you every eight seconds, that it means his ass ain't there. That's what it means to me. So, anyways, um, I want to know. If y'all are going to be as upset as y'all were at Kenya for supposedly ruining um, Cynthia's engagement, are y'all going to be mad at Karen? Because quiet as it's kept, as much as y'all know I like Kenya, we just have to disagree on that situation. Girl, Karen literally sat at that table and said, I saw Giselle um, and Juan was joining her at the jewelry store. And then she started talking about the engagement. If that's not ruining somebody's engagement, then I don't know what the fuck is. So y'all, y'all not gonna let Karen, y'all not gonna let Karen have it like y'all let Kenya have it. Okay. Anyways, um, they robbed these toboggans. <sighs> Girl, my nerves are so bad. Like I'm not an adventurous person like that. I'm just not. Like I'm not. The most I ever done, girl, Greg said the most I ever done, girl. To me, getting on a plane is adventurous enough for me, girl. 
<laughs> Girl, I got a whole white man with my life in his hands. We already know how white people like to go around killing people. Girl, that don't have nothing to do with nothing. Why am I talking about white people killing people? I just want to say that, girl. We already know how white people like to kill people. So for me to get on the airplane and have this white man who we know like to kill people, and I put my life in his hands, girl, that's adventurous, <laughs> adventurous enough for me, hello? So, girl, I'm damn sure not going around no corner on no strings and yawn, going 40 miles per hour while some other white man pushing me from behind. Whoever he was, whatever he was, he wasn't black. Girl, no, I don't trust it. No. Girl, give me y'all parents. Girl, just give me y'all parents. I'm going to meet y'all down now. Y'all go ahead. No, you can go. Just give me y'all bags. I'm going to walk. Girl. She, I'm going to catch a lift. That's how I'm going to get down there. Um, but it was cute. It was funny. I probably would have done it. Because in situations like that, it's like you don't want to be the only person that's not participating. So it's like, oh, my God, I got to do this. So I probably would have done it, especially if I had been drinking. But girl, I probably would have pissed on myself at least a little bit. <laughs> and a, it it would have been a little trinkle down there, girl. Um, Ashley starts acting like she don't drink. Or she didn't want to, she couldn't drink the... <laughs> Ashley, stop. Girl, Ashley, you so fake. Ashley, we've seen you put a whole Corona bottle down your throat at least four times this season. We know you drinking, girl. We know you drinking. So stop it. Anyways, um... I put that Giselle, again, Giselle and Karen are like, whenever I see Giselle and Karen interact with each other, I just look at them like, girl, girl, they a mess. Like, girl, Karen was just literally in your ass about your man five minutes ago, and now you, like, grabbing on her ass, you know, like, you know, just in a joking way, but grabbing on her ass and laughing and kicking. Girl, in 10 minutes, y'all gonna be arguing again, girl, talking about how y'all don't trust each other. Girl, what the hell? Um... Giselle pulls Karen. Giselle pulls Karen to the side to let her know about the engagement. Basically, can you please stop bringing up the engagement because, you know, you started. It's it's basically stop, stop for you ruined something. Um, I thought it was really really cute when Robin called her one of her sons. I think she called Corey, and um, he asked her what time was it were in uh, Portugal, and she was like seven thirty, and he was like, oh my god. <laughs> Why I giggled, I giggled about that for at least two minutes. Um, everybody goes to dinner. I thought everybody looked nice. Okay, no, I did not think everybody looked nice, but I'm just, I'm just trying to be nice and not have a stank attitude because of these videos and YouTube. But I thought everybody looked decent. Um, you know who I'm gonna say is the best dress for her first season? Wendy. When I look at the other girls on reality TV, I would have to give Wendy best dress first season. Because the other girls, when they get on reality TV, for whatever reason, they always look a hot ass mess. Well, I, I guess I get it. Everybody got their own individual style. Probably because Wendy has, Wendy's not new to television either. So she probably knows what, what works and what doesn't work for her. But also, Wendy. When she's usually on television, she's usually in a professional setting. You see what I'm saying? I think Wendy, Wendy, I think Wendy, you know, besides her hairline being all the way down here to her eyebrow, I do not know why that girl, why her, why her, um, baby, you can't never say Wendy ain't got no edges, bitch. Bitch, Wendy got all the edges, girl. Her edges go all the way down to her motherfucking top of her eyelid. Um, I would give it to Wendy as best dress for her first season. Um, I thought Karen looked nice with her dress on. Um, Giselle was Giselle. I actually like Giselle's. I think Giselle that pon it's a pony. Ugh, God, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna talk about that ponytail. Everybody looked nice. Everybody looked nice. Okay, now I don't know what the fuck they was eating, <laughs> girl. Maybe because you can't, you can't take niggas. I, 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 you can't take certain people everywhere, and I'm one of those people. Girl, I would look at that plate like, girl, what? Girl, this plate is this big, and you done brought me one piece. You done brought me one slice of pe one piece of meat, 
girl, a string bean, and then you put some sauce on the t on the plate. What the fuck I'm gonna do with this? Girl, you see how big I am? Do I look like I eat just a piece of meat and a string bean and some sauce? Girl, take this shit back to the kitchen. Um, uh, Wendy was talking about her sleep schedule and how she pretty much uh, only can sleep between two and four, girl. But shout out to all the mamas. Shout out to all the mamas out there. The, the daddies too. Shout out to all the parents. Shout out to all the parents because I don't see how y'all hoes do it. Cause. Bitch, I be pissed off if I bitch if I get, if I get seven hours and thirty minutes of sleep, I'm pissed off. Bitch, I need my other thirty. <laughs> girl, something ain't right. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh. girl, I gotta go back to sleep. I got my thirty more minutes of sleep. I gotta get, girl. That's me, girl. I got. I need at least eight hours of sleep, um, if not more, especially when a, especially when a girl is hungover. Um, but anyway, child. So, um, can't. <sighs> Y'all know I like Candace. Candace, bitch, if you don't shut up, girl, you sound dumb. When Candace started talking about her now knowing that she wants to have a baby, basically, from, from what I remember Candace saying is, ever since I got my ass monkey stomped, ever since I got my ass smiley whopped, Ever since I got my ass drugged across the table, girl, and I lived through that traumatic experience, that made me realize that I can have a child now. Bitch, what? What the fuck are you talking about, girl? Girl, this is why, girl. Going to I look, I look, going to I looked at my phone at work like no. Well, I already seen it before, but I, you know I watch it twice. I looked at my phone again at work like this, bitch. Anyways, Ashley. Hmm. Ashley. Bitch, I've been waiting for you and that man of yours at the motherfucking door. Let me tell you something. Let me say this before I even get into Ashley and Michael's ass. And we know that Ashley already said that it's easy to pop. You remember Ashley said that it was easy to pop that thing up uh, Michael's ass? It just went up there like... Because we know he's an old, big power, loose booty, no having walls, white man. We, we, know who he, he, we know he's the man who probably walks around squeezing his ass together because he ain't got no walls intact, okay? Can't stand Michael. Let me say this. Before I get into Michael's ass, not literally, because that's not the ass I like. But... When Candace made that comment about if Ashley was trying to get pregnant, why would she be drinking? Listen, every, I ain't gonna say every, but almost every bitch I know got pregnant because she took that extra shot. She took that extra drink of Hennessy. She took that, she, she had that one too many vodka and cranberry. Then she went home and hopped on a dick and did a full split. And then six weeks later, she was still talking about, ooh, Girl, I think my stomach hurt from that Chipotle y'all ate. Nah, bitch, that's called baby gut hoe. You pregnant. Now, either you got some options. You got either door one, it starts with the A and ends with the shun. <laughs> As a R somewhere in the, in, in the name. Door number two, somebody gonna be calling you mama in a couple of years. Or door number three. That one also ends with the shun. But it's a dot shun. <laughs> so we you got some options. You got some options. But all I'm trying to say is yes, I get what listen. Candace Candace's assessment of of Michael's and Ashley's relationship or her view on how Ashley was behaving at that uh party that Monique threw was not off. This is my thing. Yes, women get pregnant all the time while drinking women get women are pregnant and still drinking and don't even know if oh, y'all host playing y'all don't know y'all pregnant and the baby still come out with 10 toes and 10 fingers and they perfectly fine but i think what the problem i think where candace 
was kind of correct. And what she said was like, bitch, like Ashley, you're purposely trying to get pregnant. So when, when someone is purposely trying to get pregnant and for you to be this holistic mom and not for lazy moms like Monique, you, you wearing socks. Remember Ashley was talking about she would wear socks. I guess because if your feet are warm, it gives you a better chance to get pregnant. So you're going through all these steps of trying to get pregnant, but then you also down in a 12 pack of Coronas, bitch. So yes, it will make somebody like, bitch, I thought you said you were trying to get pregnant. You're doing everything else, but you're not going to stop drinking. Okay. That don't make no... So I could see how Candace could be like, bitch. So for her to be mad at Candace... I think it's bullshit because look what you was putting out there. And then it don't make it no better that bitch you was out at you was at Monique's party crying with no tears coming down from your goddamn face. And then less than a couple of hours later, your goddamn husband was running around a party sexually assaulting people. So that got something to do with it too, bitch. So stop acting like you don't know why Candace felt the way she felt. You know exactly why she felt the way she felt. And then on top of all of that shit, Michael done let it be known years ago that he didn't even want no motherfucking kids with your ass. He was done. <laughs> Whatever kids Michael had is what he had. But he was done. He didn't want no kids. Now he lied to you to get your ass and he told you that he wanted kids. That was fucked up on his part. But then when he got your ass and married your ass, he flipped the script and was like, I don't want no kids. So stop acting like Michael said he didn't want no kids. Michael running around her grabbing and sexually assaulting men. Bitch, you talking about you trying to have a baby, you wearing socks, you doing this, but girl, you down to Coronas. Girl, anybody would look at you. I can see how somebody would look at you like, bitch, what? Bitch, what? Hmm. Um, I'm, 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 I think it's comical that a lot of people, you know, still think or thought, even thought that Candace was just online arguing with Candace. Um, I mean, that Candace was online arguing with, what's her name? Arguing with, um, what's that bitch name? Ashley. By her, like, y'all really thought that Candace was online arguing by herself. Like, no. Ashley was arguing arguing with Candace. The doctor told her to push. She put her phone down, and Candace was still getting in her ass. But girl, no, Candace wasn't just arguing by herself. Girl. And let me say something, because I saw some of y'all, some of y'all, you know. No, I am going to say it. Fuck that. I'm going to say it. This whole... I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't even want to talk about that right now. I don't want to talk about that right now. All right. So the girls wake up. Um, the photo shoot pictures. I thought that Karen picture looked cute. Now, did y'all did y'all see how they didn't show Giselle's picture? They showed, Can they showed um, Candace's. They showed, I thought Candace had the best one. They showed Candace's, they showed Ashley, they showed Wendy's. I thought that it would, I thought Candace had the best one, then it was Wendy next, and then it was Ashley. And then I thought that it was Karen. They didn't show Giselle. I refuse to believe that Giselle, do y'all remember that blouse that Giselle had on that tied in a bow at the top? I refuse to believe that Giselle looked young and youthful in that goddamn picture. I refuse to believe it. Refuse. Why y'all didn't show her picture? So that's, that's Robin business. She can do what she want to do with it. But I do think it's fucked up if Karen, from what it looks like, it looks like Karen's going to find out at the table in front of everybody. See, I don't like that whole embarrassment type of shit. If you're not going to include the girl, at least tell her before she even sit down so she so she won't be surprised in front of in front of the you know, in front of the group. Um, I thought when Wendy went downstairs in that robe and got her a cocktail in the morning, I bitch, I said, I know that's right, bitch. Girl, if that ain't me on vacation, girl, bitch, girl, roll over. Girl, it's some it's actually some drink in this cup. Girl, roll over. Oof. Ooh, it's straight. No chaser, baby. Um, not me, the drink. Um, that's how I be on vacation, girl. I just be drinking, girl. It's vacation time, honey. 
It's vacation motherfucking time. Um, Karen not wanting to sleep with Ray. Karen gonna get into Robin's ass. Now, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, Ashley. Girl, I guess this episode was about Ashley. Ashley, bitch, you full of shit. Like, for you to sit there and act like if Candace has a problem with you writing this statement about her character, then that's on her. Girl, what? This is what I've realized. A lot of people just don't like Wendy. A lot of people just don't like Robin. But that does not take away from the fact that Robin actually has, especially this season, Robin has been talking a lot of sense. The shit that Robin has been saying, y'all get mad because y'all know it makes sense. And so y'all can't defend. Y'all really can't go against the shit that Robin says. So you just say, I can't stand that bitch. She needs to shut up and mind her business. Well, it's a show about a group of women. But besides their own personal storylines, sometimes the business is a group's business. And this is one of those situations. Robin's saying that if you wanted to write a statement about Monique being a great mom, a great business part woman, a great wife, whatever, that's fine. But for you to write this to basically assassinate Candace's character, bitch, if I was Candace, I would cut your ass the fuck out because we're not going to sit here. We're not going to sit here, bitch, and act like you were... This is the thing that that gets me with a lot of y'all. Y'all swear up and down, y'all so motherfucking street and so motherfucking hood, and if somebody talks to y'all crazy, y'all bopping them in their goddamn head. Okay, let's use that logic. So, Candace's mouth is so reckless. She Her mouth ain't never been reckless with Karen. When her and Giselle got into it, it was Giselle fucking with uh, Candace. When her and Sharice got into it, it was Sharice fucking with Candace. When her and Ashley got into it, I forgot. <laughs> but the point I'm trying to make is when Monique decided to put her hands on Candace, if you're going to sit here and tell me that Monique had every right to put her hands on Candace inside of a barn while it was a family reunion style table in between them, then you're not going to get me to believe if you, if you have that type of logic, then if a bitch was in your house talking to you crazy, you wouldn't drag that hoe. You're not going to get me to believe it. If you think that Monique is well in her right for beating her friend ass inside of a barn, then Candace was well in her right for throwing that knife in, in uh, Ashley's direction. And let's just be all the way 100. Ashley was not worried about that goddamn knife. That bitch left out the house, walked back in. Left out the house, walked back in. Left out the house. I think she left at that point. I'm not sure. But if she was that concerned about her life being in jeopardy, she wouldn't have walked back inside of a motherfucker's house when they told her black ass to get out the first two or three times. Ashley looked at that knife, hit the ground just like this, and then looked at Candace. Can Ashley wasn't worried about that butter knife. And again, if y'all think that Monique is well in her right for fighting a bitch in a barn because all Candace said was, drag me. Bitch, go back and watch that goddamn clip, that episode between Ashley and Candace. Ashley is the one that's reckless by the mouth. Ashley, if anybody, if y'all gonna say she should've got her ass whooped, that's the bitch who should've got her ass whooped a long time ago. Ashley done drug everybody on the cast and that bitch is still standing. Y'all single and Candace out and that's just shit that pisses me off. Because y'all acting like Candace is just this reckless, reckless, talking out the side of her neck type of bitch when all these hoes talk shit. Karen done talk, done call, Karen called Robin a ditzy bitch to her face. Monique said the only time Giselle is happy is when she getting some dick in her life. Ashley done ran through all them hoes. And that's just, that's just on Potomac. Bitch, Vicky was telling people that Kelly was a whole motherfucking cokehead. 
So it, it, it kills me when y'all act like one minute, like somebody said before, y'all be the main ones running around here quoting lines and one-liners and Nene-isms from Nene Leaks after she just got done talking shit to somebody or acting like she was going to spit on somebody. But then all of a sudden, it's a problem when you talk shit on these shows. Y'all really be talking out of the side of y'all necks. Y'all really do. Either we go, either they going to talk shit and read and shade or either we're going to act like we on Zeus and VH1. Let's just go ahead and just put it out there. I'm done. I don't even want to talk about this shit no more. Um, Ashley was up there lying again talking about Candace was about to get out of her seat. At the, at, at the, <laughs> Candace was about to get out of her seat at the reunion. She was, Ashley. Was she? Was she, girl? Was she really? No. Michael was probably about to get out of his seat and go violate somebody like he always does every season. That's who you probably thought was about to get out of their seat. Can't stand their ass.